Hey there, so I am making this video because, you know, Outer Banks Season 4 Part 2 is coming out tomorrow and I just really wanted to talk about one of my favorite characters, Kiara, from Outer Banks. And so she's always been my favorite and I've been a fan of the show for years and the hate towards her I've seen is just absolutely ridiculous. Like, so freaking ridiculous. <laughs> she's so sweet kind and brave and loyal and and she's really not even that problematic of a character to me and I see so much hate towards her like I don't know I, I really do not get it I mean people say she's a bop or a homie hopper when she was only with JJ and Pope and John B is the one that kissed her not the other way around I mean that should be a no-brainer I shouldn't even have to explain that to anyone you have no idea how many people I've had to explain that to and a lot of the hate is coming from Sarah fans and people claim that Sarah is better than Kiara. Okay, see I love Sarah. She's in my top four Okay, so it's not like I don't like her or I say that she's a bad person But she's made worse mistakes than Kiara and people try to make it sound as if Kiara's made worse mistakes <laughs> Like what and people say she ate when she called Ki a B Like no, she did not eat she was so wrong for that and she called Kiara that just to apologize to her outsider for ditching her and Kiara's not a pygmy I mean, come on, she was friends with Sarah before Sarah ditched her, so to say that she's only friends with the boys is just wrong? <laughs> and she's not at all a pick-me for not wanting Sarah in the group. She had valid reasons to not want Sarah in, not want to trust her because Sarah's a pretty bad friend to her and ditched her beforehand. Who's to say she's not going to do the same to the group? And they all go on dangerous treasure hunting missions. They need to know they can rely on one another. So she had every right not to trust Sarah in the beginning. And I, like, I, I can't with the Sarah fans. I, I can't. <laughs> Like, come on. And a lot of the mistakes that Sarah's made were were the mistakes she made long before her dad and brother turned on her so that whole, oh, but her family tried to kill her argument just does not hold much weight in defending most of her mistakes. It really does not. And also, Kiara made Sarah promise, like, not to bail on John B, and Sarah ended up doing just that in season three, and Kiara was not even mad at her. She was still on her side, and she was still there for her. And they've all disobeyed her parents, th their parents, and people want to only say that she's the one that's spoiled. I mean, she didn't ask to be born into a kook family, you know? She didn't ask to be born rich. And she would only ever want to use her money to help her friends. She never wanted to use it for herself. And just because her parents have all that money ready to spend on her doesn't mean she has to want those things. I mean, you're not ungrateful if you don't want them, so she's not spoiled. So, her parents were not that bad in the first two seasons, alright? Okay, but then they say they want her to be safe, but then they sent her off to an abusive camp, and then they come to her award ceremony acting as if they've always listened to her. No. Mm-mm. Yeah, see, they don't just care about her being safe. They just want to make her into this kook that they want her to be. That's really all it is. Her mom is honestly not that bad. I mean, come season four, her mom was pretty reasonable, but yeah, her dad is just an entirely different story. <laughs> and the thing is, it's hardest for Pope and Kiara to be there for her friends because their, her, their parents are more on the nice protective side, but with JJ, John B, and Sarah, their families absolutely suck, and so it's just easiest for JJ, John B, and Sarah to choose the Pogues over everything because their families absolutely suck. With Pope and Kiara, it's harder, so... It's harder for them to disobey their parents and still be there with their friends, but they still do that because that's the kind of friends they are. And I've seen people saying Kiara is useless or dumb. No, she's not at all, like, dumb or useless. I mean, come on, it was just that one time in season two she yelled murder at Ward, which was for the plot, and then she made up for that by saving the gun evidence from the sewer, and that is just one of her feats. In the first episode alone... At the end, she put herself in front of those guys shooting at them, and then she threw a net, which then stopped the boat, and then that completely saved them. And then there was when Topper and Rafe were beating up JJ and Pope at the movie theater, and so she even, like, flung herself on Topper and Rafe to try to get them to stop, which didn't work, and so she then used a match to lit up the TV screen on fire, and then that saved them. And then there was also her saving JJ from drowning, and she also, she's an environmentalist, and I love someone that cares about the environment, so that's also one of the reasons why I love her so much. And she has the most nature and knowledge which helped them survive on the island at Poglandia. I mean, I think one of the Pogues said that themselves. She's got the most nature and knowledge out of everyone, anyone in the group. I guess Masi Baby besides Cleo, but that's what they said in the episode, so that's what I'm going off of. And she also went go diving with JJ, and they both and they both almost lost their lives just trying to get that amulet this season. And she's just overall so amazing and such a good character, and so many people are are just not acknowledging it. And there was also the time when when she 
stole Rafe's boat, and so now they have a good now they had a good boat to use thanks to her. She's done so much for them, and she's like so kind and forgiving. She also saved that guy that tried to turn them into Ward at the beginning of season three, and she still saved him while everyone else just left him behind. And people also dramatize the Pope situation so much. I, I swear. I mean, come on. She had complicated feelings for him, and she did like him to a degree, just not enough to want to be his girlfriend or anything, and she was pretty clear about what she wanted. She wanted to hook up, and they did that, and then she lost feelings. And okay, look, I understand feeling bad for Pope, but she really did not do anything so wrong here. And another example of how good of a friend she is is... And another example of how good of a friend she is, is when, I think, in season two sometime, I think he just got into, like, a fight with Rafe, and then they were, like, fighting in the mud and stuff, and then, you know, he barely just escaped, and so he needed a ride, and so he called Kiara, and then Kiara said this was a really bad time, but despite that, she still went and go gave him a ride, and then during that, she even apologized for that whole mess that happened. <laughs> And so, yeah, she'll do anything for her friends, and she's just so sweet, kind, and brave, and, a, and an amazing person. I don't- I, I really don't get how anyone can hate her. It's just silly, I swear. And she's not exactly a skilled fighter like Cleo, but she's not scared to th throw hands on anyone that'll hurt her friends. I mean, just look at how brave she is. I mean, the way, you know, she smacked the hell out of Rafe in season one. <laughs> that was so fun to watch. I mean, that, that was such a good effort. And the way she yelled- yelled at Ward at the courthouse. One of my favorite scenes. I have reenacted it numerous times here on my account because it is so fun. And yeah, she's- and she's just overall so brave and loyal. I mean, I don't know how you can not like her.